back at Beach Marine for the second annual Beach Marine Expo and Gone Fishing Tournament. Anglers are out chasing redfish and flounder for big cash prizes in a week-long trip with Fishing Nasara in Costa Rica. Every major boat dealer in town is here at the expo making great deals on new and used boats. All good stuff, but we're here for the kids' dock tournament. Beach Marine opens the docks once a year to let the kids get a chance to wet a hook with their parents, have some fun, and maybe catch a few fish, and even win some awesome prizes. I got a fishy feeling about today. This could be the smallest one so far. We're going to have to measure this one. I go get my bag. This could be the skillful angler catch right there, and we got to go measure this pinfish to see <laughs> if you got it. What are you? What's your name again? For Sadie. Sadie, I know Sadie. She's our past doctor. She, you fished this before, right? Uh huh. So she's back it's again. In my super secret spot. Super Mama's secret there. spot. She caught him on fish bites too, huh? Uh huh. Let's go measure this little guy. He could be in the yeah. running for the skillful angler. We got to go measure him. That's a good one. Good job. Keep him coming. Oh, Whoa! Whoa swing him right over here. Flying fish! Yeah. Get him in the dock! Swing him over here too. <laughs> play with him over the water. He's baptizing yeah. him. Put him there back up go. here. Nice job, man. Give me a 75. Yeah. He's like, Dad, who's this dude coming in behind <laughs> us messing up our fishing? Look at that pinfish, man. Show the camera, Dad. Uh, do it wet and, uh, and, uh, you ready to put him back in? Uh -huh. Alright, be careful. Yeah. Stay right there. He had a big fish. And what's that? What'd you say? Is that a big fish? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is what it's all about right here, man. Just getting out. I know this guy hardcore fishes everywhere. Were you having fun? Oh yeah. This is what it's all about right here, That's right? That's right. Getting them hooked on the first time, getting them out there, man. What's your name? I'm McCoy Denton. McCoy Denton? Mm -hmm. Colton. Colton? Mm -hmm. It's funny how I didn't make that out the first time. Uh, I can do it again. You're gonna do <laughs> That's right. You gotta do it. You gotta do it again, man. That's what it's all about. We got the galley out here at the expo cooking up fried shrimp dinners and pulled pork sandwiches. You can find them at 10600 Beach Boulevard when they're not out here cooking for Hook the Future events. But got everybody fed up and doing good out here at the galley serving the shrimp dinners. Got to get something from the galley. I got him! Get him! Hold this for me, Dad. Get him, Christian! Don't lose him! Pull him up here! Pull him right here! Swing him up! Swing him up! That's a good one, man! Dude, you're going to have a career in TV one day. Way to, way to make the show. Give me a slimy five. Is that awesome or what? Yeah! Yeah, when's the last time you went, yeah, like that, parents? Man, get out some more. You having fun? Are you How many yeah. fish have you caught, Christian? Nine. Nine? Oh, my gosh. No wonder you're so happy. Should I let this one go so you can get back to fishing? Yeah. Okay. He's a huger. He is a huger. we got to get back to work. Christian's got to catch some more. He's on number 10. He's going for double digits now. It's going to happen. Who's helping you back here, Christian? My grandpa. Grandpa, you having fun? Yes. Good to spend time with him, isn't it? Yeah. Here with Thomas from the Florida Pier Anglers, man. How Appreciate you, doing, you guys man? coming out here and helping out with all the kids behind the scenes. You do it a lot for Hook the Future. Absolutely. Anytime you guys have a kid dock tour, we come out and help. Yeah, they great. always they always support all the dock tournaments, come out here and volunteer behind the scenes. But I gotta say, man, don't you have a website where people can go online and check out what the bite is at the we Jack's do. Beach Pier? Jacksonvillebeachpier.com. So you can go to jacksbeachpier.com. You can look up Thomas. He's always on there giving instant reports. I mean, we have to tell him, hey, man, don't tell him we're catching 10 whiting right now. Let us at least get him on the dock before you put us a report. But they are really accurate, and they love to have kids out there on the pier. So if you come out to the pier, find Thomas, find Faye, find somebody. You got a kid, they'll point you to the right spot and show you what bait to use, right? Absolutely. All right, man. Nice helping you guys. Appreciate the pier anglers coming Thank out Kevin and supporting Nuff. Hook and Future. All good stuff. I'm doing what I was wanting to do. Just letting you know, guys, Sadie is catching fish after fish on this fish bites right here. This is the only bait that she's used, and she's caught how many now? Three. 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 Let's let this one go. Go get number four. Get him up here. Oh, red. The red fish. He's oh, hooked in the back. He's foul spot. hook. It, it looks like it's, it's, it's a, a big Get him right over here and I'll get him. Get him. Oh, he got him. Nice croaker. 
Caught him looking, man. Nice Turn around here to the camera. Got him foul hooked in the side. Caught him looking. You were paying attention, huh? What's your name? Hunter. Hunter, you got the big trout, and now you got a croaker too, huh? Let's go measure him and see what you got. You're in the lead right now. What do you think about that? Happy. He's happy. Here, Hunter, I'll let you take your fish and go out there and measure him. We'll be right back with more fun from the docks at Beach Marine when Hook the Future returns. Hook the Future is brought to you by Eagle Claw, where great fishing begins. By Mercury, number one on the water. By Edgewater Power Boats, the safest, most reliable boats on the water. By CNH Lures, building quality, trusted lures for over 30 years. And by Salt Life, live it where the salt meets your life. You know, this is the second year of the Beach Marine Expo and Gone Fishing Tournament. We got all the guys out there serious fishing for redfish and flounder today. But I gotta tell you, the kids' dock tournament is where it's at, man. I get chill bumps out here. The Beach Marine opens up their facilities to all the kids to come out. And we were just talking about everything like Beach Marine just has like a family atmosphere. We have Billy's Boathouse Grill, we've got Nipper's Restaurant, the Dock Box, the Hook the Future offices is here. And this is Lisa from Beach Marine who just makes it all happen for us. So tell us about how people can come down to Beach Marine and get involved with boating at Beach Marine. We have an end of the month club, all that stuff. We have an end of the month party the last Saturday of every month. Neighborhoods, uh, it doesn't matter if you have a boat or you don't, you're interested in getting into boating, come out see what boating's about. Join the family. We do um, food and just have a great event. Two hours, five to seven last Saturday of every month. I gotta say, it's almost like having Thanksgiving once a month here. It's a, it really does feel like a, it make you feel at home. If you want to get into the boating lifestyle and you don't know anything about boating, it's a great place to come down and get to know people that will help you out in any anything you want to do, whether it's fishing, sailing, whatever, and um, Lisa can make it happen. So slimy fives to everybody at Beach Marine Absolutely. for putting out the red carpet for us. Thank you for doing this. We enjoy it. It's all good stuff. Good stuff. Get him, get him! Oh my gosh, it's a big one! Get him, oh, pull it in, pull it in! Pull it in! On the fish bites! It is a baby, check him out. Let's go get him, let's go get him measured up here. Check out this little guy. First. First fish of the day. It is the first fish. Give me a slimy five. You want to walk up here and measure him with me? Come on, let's walk. Let's leave Dad the rod. Got him on the fish bites again. Here, let's leave your rod here with Mom, and we'll go measure this one really quick. Okay? Are we ready? Come on, let's go check him out. All right, let's see. That's a. Uh, he's not the smallest. He's like six inches. We're gonna have to let him go. You want to throw him back in? Mm -hmm. Here he goes. One, two, three. Ugh. There you go, slimy five, real slime. Good job. Another good fish. Get him, man. Get him. Get him. Put him in the dock. Let's get him. Get him. That's a good one, man. Swing him in here. What do you think about that? Here, let me get him for you. Let me set him down right here. What's your name? Brian. That is an awfully nice fish. Is this your first fish? Have you ever caught a fish before? Now this is your first fish ever? Look at that camera right there. See the camera? Give him a big thumbs up. See it up there? Can you hold your thumbs up and say, wow, this is awesome. You did an awesome job. That's a cool fish. Turn around right there and give him a thumbs up. That's his first fish. Your name is Brian? Braden. Nice fish, man. Give me a slimy five. Awesome job. That's what it's all about right here, getting them out on the dock. You know, you don't have to go blue marlin fishing to, to have a good time with your kids. Just get out there and spend some time with them, find some water, wet a hook, catch the first fish. Nice job, man. You want to let him go? Yeah, let's let, get over here and let him go, okay? First fish ever. That rocks. Hook the future will be right back. We're here with Mike from Beach Marine Boat Sales, man. Appreciate you coming out today and supporting Hook the Future. The Expo's Thank you, looking man. good. Thanks. 
how a lot of people know about the dry stack here they know about all the restaurants here but they don't know about you guys selling boats can you tell us a little bit about the new boat sales here yeah absolutely yeah it's been good uh, we've got nautic star which carries uh, we've got uh, you know everything from uh, inshore bay boats to offshore uh, they also carry a great line of deck boats we've got regal cruisers and runabouts uh, blackjack bay boats so we've got pretty much got the spread got it covered and I see a lot of used boats coming in here a lot of sporties a lot of boats that you guys don't carry that you know I gotta say Captain Don's looked twice at a couple yeah, of these right. boats coming through here <laughs> moving uh, up yeah so you guys do have quite an inventory of used boats oh, yeah. as well so how can they get a hold of the new boat department when they come down to Beach Marine yeah call us at uh, 904-694-2060 or you can check us out at jacksbeachmarine.com appreciate you come see Mike he'll hook you up down here at Beach Marine and they got the boat sales going on service as well but Mike's the guy to see if you want a new boat down here. Come here, man. Is this your first this your first fish ever? Another first fish on Hook the Future, man. That's a nice one. What's your name? Joel. Joel. So we're gonna have watch Joel grow up to be an awesome angler one day and he's gonna remember his first fish he ever caught on Hook the Future. Pretty cool stuff, man. Let's let, let him go. Gotta let go of your first one, give it good karma so it comes back and helps you later on. Well, he didn't have no problem getting away. Good job. What do you think about this fishing stuff? Awesome. Awesome. Slimy five, man. Go catch another one. Time to catch fish number two. So what's your name, man? Andrew Nemeth, sir. So you fish a lot? Yes, sir. Are you are you like a, you always go after big fish wherever you go? Yes, sir. You're like a big fish fisherman? Yes, sir. Hold your prize catch up for the dock tournament. We either have to let him go or put him in a quart jar for an aquarium. I think we should probably just, just <laughs> let, let him go. go. Yeah, yeah, let's slide him in here on the side. I think you should eat him. Whoa, <laughs> The gentle, skillful fisherman. That was the smallest fish I've ever seen on camera, man. I mean, slimy five. Oh. Awesome job. Here with Nanette from Dig In Shallow Water Anchor Systems, man. Tell us about what you guys got going on. We have a shallow water anchor system, uh, and what it is, it's an aluminum welded mount that attaches to your boat. You put the pole through, and you stop. You stop right on a dime. Lifetime guaranteed, made here in Florida, it's just a great product. We get calls from fishermen all the time going, this is the best money I've ever spent on my boat. And it's reasonably priced too, right? It is, it is. You can get a, f a five inch stern mount and an eight foot pole for $235. You can't beat that. What's, you can't. what's your website? Digginanchors.com. Digginanchors.com. Appreciate you guys coming out here and being a part of the expo and um, hope it works out for Absolutely. you. Absolutely, thank you so much. This is a nice fish. What do you think about that? That's a big croaker. Mm -hmm. Is that the biggest fish you ever caught? That's a nice one, man. Give me a slimy five. Awesome yeah. job. Awesome job. We'll have to go measure him and see if he's in the running for the biggest one. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go do it. Say thanks, Captain Don. Thanks, Captain Don. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's go measure him up here and see what we got. Nice croaker. There you go, man. Another yellowtail. What's your name, man? Anthony. Anthony, that's a nice fish. Where are you from, Anthony? Florida. In Jacksonville? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that the first one you got today? No, second. Second. Show the camera. Anthony's got it registered. Anthony's second catch here. This is his second one. All right, Anthony, you want to slide him over to the side for a release right there? Good job, man. Give me a slimy five and get back to fishing, man. Nice job. Nice job. So, say, did you say, what did you just say a minute ago? I've caught six fish already. Six fish already? Yeah, and my last, and my six fish was not quite to be the smallest, but it was close. Really close to the smallest. So what was mm -hmm. the funnest part of the day out here today? Um, catching fish. Catching fish. And you just said you're going to call it a day. You've caught a bunch. Uh -huh. You had a good day. It's time to just lean back and wait for the results, right? Uh-huh. Good job. You did awesome out there today, Sadie. You did awesome. Girls can fish, too. Don't just because they're girls. Get a rod in their hand, right? Uh-huh. Tell them girls can fish. Girls can fish. I want a rod because I can fish. You did rent a rod, didn't you? You uh -huh. might win another one today. We got all kind of prizes. You know, Trout yeah. River Fish Camp gave us a whole bunch of big seven foot rod and reel combos for all of really? you. Yeah. So you could maybe get one with six fish. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Yeah. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the awards when Hook the Future continues. is brought to you by Float On Boat Trailers. Remember, there's only one real float on by Carolina Skiff. Anything is possible. By Andy, the line of champions. 
by Sea Sucker. Why drill another hole in your boat? And by Odyssey, the extreme battery. Extreme power, performance, and reliability. A big hand to all you guys for coming out for the tournament. Couple of people we need to thank. All of our sponsors with Hook the Future believe in everything we do and they back our kids' tournaments as well and give us prizes for all that. Beach Marine again, the dock box and everything, everything at Beach Marine for just rolling the carpet out for you guys. They didn't charge anything for all this. They just wanted you guys to come out and have a positive event. So a big hand for Beach Marine for putting it on. And the tournament is supposed to be about experience and spending time with your kids. It's a little hot, but you get the idea. Go out there and spend time with your kids in a fun environment. Whatever you do in fun, where you're not talking about chores and homework and school and your job and complaining about your knee and all that stuff, just go out there and have a good time with your kids and get to enjoy them. Sometimes it's just a ride to school. But um, take some time to take a step back and listen to them and um, know what you got. And kids, when your parents take you out and do stuff like this, make sure when you get home you give them a hug and tell them you love them and tell them you appreciate it because every kid doesn't have a parent like you do. And parents, when, you, when they do that, make sure you hang up the phone and know there's nothing more precious in life. Um, it's really what it's all about. Anyway, I need to get started. Everybody gets something when we fish. So I need every kid that did not catch anything to line up right here. This is the winner of our craziest catch. You know what this guy caught? Mom! <laughs> You know, if you've been parents, and I guarantee on Hook the Future, it's happened more than once where you cock that rod back to throw that one time and it just stops midair. Then call it mom's nice blouse right here. So the craziest catch is mom. Here's your trophy, and your hat, and your thing, and go back there and pick out one of those combos right there. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Where's Andrew Nemeth? Where's Andrew at? This guy, man, did you guys see what he caught? He had to have a microscope. It was like that big. The hook was that big and the fish was that big. How big was your fish? Uh, three and a half inches. Three and a half inches. That takes skill. The most skillful angler of the day. This hook, let's see, a Rick's bait gift certificate. Uh, adventure landing, and let's see, and your hooks and your stuff. Not bad, huh? Not bad for a three inch fish. Go get your combo back there. He's got to come back for it. You need a wheelbarrow. How many of you guys caught your first fish ever today? First fish ever. Tell us about that. Was it fun? Mm-hmm. Were you going to catch another one? Yes. So what's the deal? He's all shy, man. Don't be shy. You caught your first fish. That guy right there still hasn't caught one. No, I'm just kidding. No? You guys ready? Who caught three fish? I need you to line up and stay right there in the middle while I'm talking to these guys. I think for your first fish, you should get a Salt Life wallet so you should hold a, that picture of your first fish in there, don't you? I think so. What would you catch today? A uh, two trout, a Jack Carvel, and a... A spot or a cooker? How many of you guys tournament fish? Mom, dad, anybody ever been on a tournament boat in your entire life? I knew you have. You know how I knew you have? Because you already had the tournament in the bag. You had the biggest trout. You had the biggest croaker by two. And then what happened? You lost a... A big trout. He lost a big trout in the dock. And I said, oh, man. He'd already won the whole thing. But it lost you. You got that one. That one killed you. You lost that one at the last second, didn't it? Yeah. But you won the whole thing. You know what you get to do? Go pick out one of those combos and come back and I'll tell you in a second. Go get whichever one you want. That's where those were. Get you an Andy notebook and some line. And let's see, here's your adventure landing passes. You know, man, that's just not good enough. What do we got here? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and give you the adventure landing pass. Go ahead and give you the Rick's bait and tackle thing. Here's your trophy for your biggest fish and Doc Cook, the future Doc champion. And you get, how about taking you and four of your closest friends to Walt Disney World and go bass fishing? Hey, Is that pretty good? Yeah, thank you. 
Hey guys, 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 check it out. You can go to Disney Bass Excursions. It's a really cool thing. Anybody can do it, and they take kids out for groups of five in pontoon boats, or you can go on bass boats, and they take you out and catch bass like no tomorrow. It's a really good fishery and a lot of fun, and thanks to Disney Bass and Marineland and Adventureland and everybody for supporting what we're doing here at Hook the Future. You had a good time today? Worth coming out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get somebody else next year, you go back and say, look what I want, man. All right, have a good time. Um, again, thanks, you guys, for coming out. Um, I hope you had a good time with your kids today, and try to take this with you when you go out fishing next time, you know, just try to enjoy their company. That's the biggest thing. It's not about catching a bunch of fish. It's just enjoying their company and having a good time out there. So I know it was hot out there today. We tried to not torture you too long, but... Um, Definitely caught some nice fish out there and had a few smiles on the dock, and I hope it was all worth coming out here for you to do it for us. Um, thanks again. Take a kid fishing. Do your part to hook the future. We appreciate you guys. And this show is going to air probably about six to eight weeks from now. I don't know exactly when, when it puts in rotation, but about six to eight weeks. Um, so that's when it will come out. And look for your names in the newspaper. might be in there. Who knows? Thank you guys for coming out. Again, if you didn't get any... Uh, if you didn't get any Andy line, come up here and grab a box of some of the Andy line off the table. What a day! New friends, old friends, good fishing and fun times. Big slimy fives to all the volunteers who put in their time for the kids today and to the sponsors who help the kids out. Fish Bites, Eagle Claw, Andy, Southern Propane, Trout River Fish Company, Rick's Bait and Tackle and more stepped up in a big way to make sure these guys had fun. Until next week, take a kid fishing and do your part to hook the future. You'll be glad you did. As with all our shows, visit hookthefuture.com and find out how you and your family can take the same trip as you've seen on today's show. And a special thanks to these fine companies who are doing their part to hook the future.